Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Thomas. Tonight we're here back with Jaden Animations. Tonight we got the hardest Mario game ever. And, well, if you guys know my old channel, you guys know this as the Kaizo Mario episode. So yeah, Jaden's about to go a little tricky with the Kaizo stuff. So if you guys saw the blindfold thing, you actually did see a mention of it. So why don't we take a look back and see how she did with Kaizo. So be sure to like, subscribe for more. Hope you enjoy. Let's check it out. You already know Mario. I'm not gonna explain him. I'm not gonna explain Mario to you. But a lot of True, people don't know really about needed. a little Mario community that thrives in the depths of the deep, dark Mario crevices. <laughs> I'm talking about Mario Kaizo. Or in this case, Kaizo mm -hmm. Mario. Mario Kaizo is basically fan-made high difficulty Mario. Yeah. People will take base games like Mario Bros. 3 or Super Mario World and rearrange the levels to look like this. Yeah. As you can see. see? A little more tricky than normal. Mm -hmm. I've been casually watching Mario Maker and Mario Kaizo content for a few years. I just think it's fun to watch while I'm eating cereal in the morning. And then one day I just stood up and was like, I My want turn. to do it. My favorite Mario content creator is Ryukar. So I DM'd mm -hmm. him asking if he had any Kaizo recommendations that are, you know, for beginners, beginner friendly. I mean, I'm naturally gifted at video games, but at, it's, it's, it's Mario Kaizo. I need a beginner little baby card over here. Cut me some slack, all right? Ryu asks mm -hmm. if I've played any Kaizo hacks before, and I'd say no. no. And then he asks if I've ever played any Kaizo levels in Mario Maker mm -hmm. before, and I'd say no. no. And then he asks if I've ever at least done a shell jump before, and I go, no. I've played Hollow Knight, and he goes, I don't think that can help you here. And I'm like, yeah, you're probably right. After a few more messages, right. Ryu generously offers to train me for Kaizo before I jump straight into a complete ROM hack. Thanks. And oh boy, that was extremely nice of him and extremely needed. We hopped into a Discord yeah, no, call, yeah. and as I screen shared the training ROM, he was able to give me tips and pointers of what to do and how to do tricks. So I opened up the first stage called the Simple Jump. And let me guess, not All so right, simple. So this level seems like nothing. It's literally called the jump and it's oh. teaching me. <laughs> Point proven. Are you picking up on what I'm about to be dealing with here? Anyway, yeah. throughout the session, I learned about getting past chucks, getting past reverse chucks, how to deal with lava plants, what slow and fast fall is, balancing on disco shells, precise swimming mechanics, grabbing and jumping on this block thing at the Ooh. same time. It's weird shell jumps, you know, the basics. Mm -hmm. I was steadily getting more familiar with the moves and learning everything, and I'll be honest, I confident. was starting to feel pretty good. You know, kind of getting the hang of it now, bit of a confidence boost. And then I hit the test stages where all the mechanics you learned are packed into like oh, an gosh. actual level. Test one wasn't too bad. It looks like this and ended up taking me around 20 minutes to beat but test yeah. two was the one that got me it's a short oh. fast-paced level with no checkpoints but uh, <laughs> between the really difficult button input to do the block grab jump thing straight Oof. into a shell jump and then land on tiny dino man onto yoshi i was my armpits were sweating. The last trick you gotta do is ditch Yoshi and win. But since I bonked my head or missed the jump so many times, you can you can see the trauma behind this hesitation here. But I ended up getting it after an hour and a half of attempts. After all that, Ryu says he thinks I'm ready for the real deal, sends over the ROM he recommended, and here's my experience trying to beat my first here Mario go. Kaizo hack, Super Ryu, Ryu World. World. This is how the game starts fire. out. <laughs> Ooh. You're doing great. That's fair. <laughs> so, level one. I'll be honest, pretty straightforward. Jump on a few guys, do some more jumps, choke right in front of the checkpoint. No. Oh. But eventually I was able to beat it, and I'll admit, I was pretty stoked. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, hey. yes. I was worried nice. I wouldn't even be able to pass the first level, and I actually just couldn't make this video because I was too bad. But knowing I can beat at least one, yeah, uh, meant more to me than it should. And the show yeah, goes on. Up. Level two was ramping up. You run through and dodge oh. various swamps and stuff to hit a P switch, then run back through everything in reverse so you can get into the pipe that was previously unreachable. After many attempts and this, Oh, no, let me in. Oh. I managed to slip my way into the pipe where I met these two friendly guys. I was cats. really caught off guard by cats in Mario game. So caught off guard, in fact, that I just ran into them and really? died. Checkpoint. 
Mm. Checkpoint. What? What is that? Oh. Yo! Oh. I beat the stage quickly after, so let's not. Okay, no more cats. Come on. <laughs> Next was this really cool <laughs> escort stage where you nab this Galoomba at the very start and use him oh. to progress through the stage. Right. It was difficult, but I had a really fun time with this one, and the atmosphere was really cool. But I guess I was having too much fun because mm -hmm. I let my guard down and got real humbled. No! Oh. <laughs> also, the first time I got to that part, I thought the Galumba would turn around and come back, but Let he didn't. No. So I just watched him walk off the edge and strand me. Anyway, I had a hunch the checkpoint was right after that pipe, so I knew that if I just got that jump right, I could start making more progress. <laughs> and after like 30 there minutes of trying to get back in there, yeah. I finally did. On the bright side, You're I right. was completely right about the checkpoint hey. being there. I did not, however, <laughs> calculate this. What? So. what <gasps> I did it. <gasps> did okay, it. so what Please happened? Checkpoint. No! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll be honest. That, that was a good one. I couldn't yeah. even get <laughs> mad. And it's even oh, more wait, funny oh. when after you get the checkpoint, they'll spawn you right above that pipe continuously. What so whenever you start again, you gotta immediately hold hard right. Oh. So yeah, I eventually mm. ended up beating the stage. Now let me tell you about the fourth <laughs> level. Bad. Moles. It was a lot of tricky maneuvers that didn't leave much room for error. Also, I thought the beginning was funny. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> Just Trying to saw. jump on these slippery little freaks was a bit rough. This was hard. This was hard. This was hard. I did this part wrong. Oh, I think but... I needed him. This guy yes. suicided. No, don't do it. Oh. And then it just got worse. The second part of the stage turned into a build a bridge mole escort mission. I'll save you all the pain and agony yeah. and just say this level, especially the second half, Gave me the most hell compared to the upcoming levels like, for a while. <laughs> Even more hell than the level called Ooh. Jank Heaven. I don't really want to cover Heaven every single thing enough. that happened in every single level, but I can give you a little mm -hmm. taste of what Jank Heaven was like real quick. Oh. <laughs> that Mario sprite. No, shoot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> that's a jump that's just hard. I think everything I do here is impressive. There you go. To some benchmark, oh, yes. Nothing there. Right. Oh. Mm. <gasps> oh. I'm glad you like had the awareness, dude. That's like, holy sh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> There's the checkpoint. Shoot. Oh. This is the last jump. <laughs> So I'm progressing a good amount into the game at this nice. point, but then I get to a ghost house called the waiting room. Overall, it was a pretty difficult all-in-one go level with no <laughs> checkpoint, but the one part that just kept tripping me up throughout the entire stage was this a part wiggler? where you jump onto this wiggler, balance on him until that wall goes back up, jump off, and then whatever, do bomb stuff. I just couldn't do the wiggler part consistently oh. at all. Either I would mistime the jump and pathetically hop off the edge like this, <laughs> or do this, oh, or this, but it was mainly the pathetic one. I would say probably 80% of my deaths happened on that part specifically, and it technically Eesh. isn't even the hard part of the level. Really? I really don't think that part was even meant to be that hard at all. But an hour oh, and boy. 30 minutes Poor of Jaden. doing the same mistakes mm -hmm. over and over, just trying my best, I realized there was a much oh. easier and smoother way to do that entire part, and I literally wasted all that time and making the happy. whole thing way more difficult than it needed to be. Oh. oh. Nice. That's so much easier. Huge. Just oh my god, I can't it, I believe guess. I've been dying to that wiggler that way this whole time, <laughs> and I could just do that. It's probably what's intended as well. You're probably right. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, once I learned that, I beat the stage 20 minutes later. There you go. That was, that was awesome. Am I upset? Poor Jaden. I'd probably be pissed at myself. Be like, oh, I completed it, but that was an easier method. Ow. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel bad for her. Anyway, that no, not really. I'm an animator that works in Adobe Animate slash Flash. I'm used go. to throwing away multiple hours of work Ooh. into the trash. By the way, this happens right in front of the goal. <gasps> ah, okay. Mm. Dum, 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 dum. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. You her. I will. <laughs> <laughs> you effort. <laughs> right at the end. Jaden. 
The stages are getting much more difficult at this point. There's only four worlds in the game, each containing around three or four levels, which going into it, I didn't know. I thought there was going to be a full eight worlds and I was starting to sweat in world three. But yeah, Ryu no, ended up telling me I was in the home stretch and I popped off so hard. I just thought <laughs> I was bad this whole time. After a few more levels, pain, <laughs> agony, I made it to the last world. And oh my god. World 4, Stage 1, was the worst thing this game ever ended up throwing at me. I don't even know how to go into detail with all the tricks and moves you need to do in this stage, but I spent 4 hours on it, an hour and 40 minutes on the first half, and 2 hours 20 minutes on the second. I know Mr. Beast and other content like that has kind of changed people's perceptions on how much is a lot of time in terms of YouTube content. Four mm -hmm. hours is nothing compared to, I don't, 24 hours touching a worm. But I sat there <laughs> making mistake after mistake, learning and adapting and still failing for four hours straight. It was starting to like get to me, like personally. Yeah. Eventually, every time I would mess up, mm. I would feel it in my insecurities. Oof. Ah! I have no confidence in my own judgment to make important core decisions! But I did it, again, four hours later. Maybe you don't think that's a long time, but I was you wallowing I mean. in my own personal hell there for a while. So knowing that was the yeah. very first level of the last world, I was suddenly oh, very oh afraid God. of this game and what it'll do to me. But surprisingly, hmm? the other two levels weren't nearly as bad as the first one. I ended That's up good. finishing stage two in only an hour and a half and stage three uh -huh. in 30 minutes. That was nice. the, the, the ego boost I needed to regain some strength again, I'll tell you that. Stage three boosts my confidence and stage one keeps me humble. Fair and balanced life, if you ask me. Then I realized okay. I was about to last enter the one. last level. Dude, I'll be honest, She's grass. I was <laughs> mad proud of myself. I went from not even knowing if I could build enough skill to beat one <laughs> level to getting ready to go into the final level of the entire game. Ryu hopped into a call with me to be there for the finale which basically meant he sits there for an indefinite amount of time watching me fail over and over on mechanics he's already mastered. Like, like watching a toddler struggle to fit the circle block in the square hole. In good old Mario Kaizo fashion, the level starts out with, I'm gonna miss this when I come out victorious. Or just perish on the spot, either way. So I started chipping away at the level, jump on these guys, balance on spiky, do this, do that. I was a little bit nervous because Ryu was watching and I, I wanted to show him how much I've gotten better at Kaizo. You know, like a teacher finally being able to see their student face their final fight to the death battle. Well, okay, like, not, not just one. some school teacher, like a, a cool Sensei. samurai teacher or something. There you go. <laughs> I messed it up. Anyway, Oopsie. I was trying to impress him, and then I just went and did this, oh. and this, Oops. and this. Whoop. But he seemed proud of me anyway for just being able to get this far. I was making okay. some good progress on the level. I was about to get to the mm -hmm. final checkpoint, but, you know. Right no, jump. Oh, no. Things happen. Even though it was a really hard level, it was still surprisingly a lot of fun. And not nearly as bad as 4-1. I keep bringing it up, but I, you know, it really got to me. But like that, maybe a bit less than three hours later, I got to the final room. It's boss fight time. For a final boss in a Kaizo hack, the fight was actually pretty chill. Not easy, but you chill. <laughs> these on and off switches control the room going up and down, and you gotta get the floor low enough to grab these little blue blocks to throw oh. at the giant King Boo or whatever he's called in this game. But don't let it get too low because then you lava. can die to the lava right beneath there. So you're trying Oof. to keep all these things in mind, <laughs> but to add to the pile, <laughs> these little flying boogers meander around the stage while you gotta dodge them. And yes, they're RNG based, they're random. You can't just memorize their booger pattern and be on your <laughs> merry way. Whoa. Okay, the smart way to go about this boss is to stay in the middle and calculate safe times to go to the sides and hit the switches. But I was being stubborn and trying to brute force my own way to do it. <laughs> what a little booger. <laughs> Those guys are no! <laughs> He punishes you for standing on the edges, you know? I'm gonna stand on this edge. <laughs> You're like, I don't give a shit. I'm doing <laughs> it anyways. Much. In the lava and then crushed. And then, oh, this and edge. Another booger. Oh, as More is boogers. life. 
Oh. Another one. Okay, Wonderful. I'm gonna stand on this other side. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's um, kind of is actually, <laughs> except for the guys that come out of the wall and kill you. Pretty much. But it's pretty like <laughs> every time. I'm gonna die on this hill. <laughs> I didn't know how many times you have to hit Boo. Mario rules always default to three, but it's Kaizo, so it could also very much be a thousand. They know. One, two. Oh. oh. Yo! Oh. 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 <laughs> Was that it? Okay, so now I know you have to hit him, like, I assume five times. Oh. Uh, does that count? I'm not gonna spoil how many times you have to hit him. Yeah, so I hit him three times and didn't win. So I was like, all right, must be a uh, thousand. But then a few attempts later, guess. this happened. Three... Let's see, one, huh. ooh, 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 ooh. two, all right. Watch it, watch it. Mm. Oh, fair enough. Three. Oh, oh. my God. Oh snap! So was so there I, is. I did get him three times, and you then did, I and just, then you died. just died at the end. Oops. Isn't that awesome? It was three. I just died too soon after that third shot, and it didn't count, which I'm going to choose to ignore. Wah, I did wah. it. I learned Kaizo, and I beat Kaizo. Nice. And it only took 17 hours, not including training. Are there much more difficult hacks out there? Probably, oh yeah. yes, absolutely. Some of them look so disgusting, like I don't even want to be in the vicinity of their aura. But I was able to <laughs> challenge myself and beat one that was really well suited for my skill set going in. And looking back at some of the things I was able to end up pulling off <gasps> makes me feel very cool. Look at this stuff. <laughs> I did that. It's cool, come on. I want my hard earned credit and applause, please. I think my favorite thing about Kaizo is how easy it is to visualize the progression of your skill within every single level. Like world three, stage three starts off with a really difficult maneuver that I got hung up on for a while. And then suddenly I'm nailing it almost every single time. You can really feel and see yourself grow within Kaizo. And I don't think you can say that about a lot of things. Does that mean I recommend you try it? No. Absolutely not. If you get impatient and frustrated easily and are also bad at video games, don't yeah. even think about it. But hey, if you think it looks interesting and you can stay calm under extreme circumstances and have around 17 hours to kill, I can't recommend it enough. I liked it. Thanks to Ryu for helping me out and being extremely nice and training me and giving me a great ROM and mm -hmm. literally just sitting there watching me struggle for many hours. Go check out his channel. He's very entertaining. I've been watching him for years now. And Aww. yeah, that's it. I'm officially very good at video games and I've supplied documented proof. Again, proof. if you haven't gotten your tickets, Scribble showed up. I gotta say, that was actually pretty good. So, I mean, you gotta admit, it was actually pretty cool for us to actually be able to do that. So, I mean, you gotta admit, that was actually pretty impressive, you know? Like, really don't see that often, you know? <laughs> so, anyway, uh, hope you guys enjoyed that one. So, I'll uh, see you guys for the next one. Till then, thanks for watching. Good night, everybody.